Hi, Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and here I have my Acer W510. Now, I do have the keyboard dock attached to it because I am trying to replace my Ultrabook right now. Now, at the end of day one, uh, I've managed to do three blog posts through uh, Internet Explorer uh, and the WordPress backend, which is easy peasy. Upload my photos, type in my text, publish my blog. Easy enough. But since you guys know I am a video blogger primarily, uh, I needed to get Cyberlink Power Director working on here. So I'm going to show you um, how I'm video editing on this tablet. So let's start off with Cyberlink Power Director Mobile. Um, now we can just select these clips. So let's select the one with my dog. There we go. So now let's select that and well let's trim it because it's quite long. Ah, previous. I meant trim. Trim trim video. There we go. There we go. There. So let's pull that up. Move back a little bit. So you can see it's incredibly touch friendly. Let's end it on something like that. So there, me and my animal video. Yeah, let's save that. All right, so let's say next. Uh, this style thing, well, I just go with slideshow. Why not? Here we go. I don't want to do a starting title. So let's say save and produce. Full HD. So this video clip was actually taken with the uh, native camera of the W510. Uh, it does shoot full HD. Uh, the only thing that sucks about, so let's say Daisy. Daisy, okay. There we go. So that was a 30 second clip. Um, yeah, full HD uh, taken with this with this tablet. The only thing that I'm really not impressed with is that um, when I do have other files like from my Canon camera, uh, AVC HD files aren't recognized as something that I can import even if I put them into the uh, Acer um, Crystal Eye folder where it detects all of the um, native videos that were taken with this camera. Um, yeah, so that, that definitely does kind of suck because PowerDirector, it's very simple. Um, and you can see on a 30 second clip, it's taking me 40 seconds. So we're like 10% extra, which isn't too bad, I think. Right, so that's great. Done, play now. There's Daisy. There we go. All right, so now let's go to the desktop mode where I have the full Cyberlink Power Director 11. Now I've cut in um, all of this, so these are, this is the video you're watching. There's me talking, um, I've shortened a little bit, so there's that, and then there's me at the end. Now, the one thing that I found kind of annoying is that um, I don't really like the import on this, so when I want to drag and drop, so I, I have to, you know, kind of shrink it. And what I've actually done um, with this mode is that you can see it doesn't quite fit, right? But, yeah, so you can actually adjust the size um, of, oh, there it is, adjust the size of the actual um, application itself or the program itself so that you do kind of get full access to the bar down here. But I figured out that I easily can just open this over here. Here we go. There's our three videos. And I can just drag them in like that. You see, well, it's already in there. But you can just drag and drop in that way. If you've got another program um, that you need to have multiple windows in, yeah, you just need to kind of put it into that mode so you can access the bar because you can't pull up the start bar in Windows 8 like that. So let's go here produce. Now, this is one of the things, it is a little bit slow. So I export MPEG-2, full 1080p. Let's use Intel QuickSync. Um, Acer test. 
And then let's hit start. Let's close that. And let's see how long this four minute and 45 second video takes to produce. So it's actually three times as long, which is 15 minutes for a five minute video. That's a, that's feels like ages in my world, but if uh, you're just a casual video producer, then that's not too, too bad.